and welcome back i know i look a little crazy right now oh my god i forgot to do my eyebrows but um i have my foundation on because i am going to be testing out a newer brand it is by kim chi cosmetics now kim chi is a beautiful drag queen and has her own makeup line and she has a few products that have been I have been so interested in. And I believe she came up with her makeup line about last year. And already she has a lot of makeup. Now, um, I ordered this stuff before she came out with concealer. So I will definitely try out the concealer 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 later on. But I have pretty much everything um that she has available. This is my package right here. I got this card from Kim Chi and what I absolutely love about this brand is that they really made it they did like a personal touch to this like card and I will always hold on to this card because they put my name on here like it wasn't printed it was handwritten which I feel is so like a little bit more sentimental than what normal other brands do they just print out a card which is like a signature and I feel like I know this just kind of represents that this is a really good more of a genuine brand i'm not saying that other brands are not genuine but they did like a really nice personal touch on this so i absolutely love that already the kim chi powder this is the puff puff pass set and bake powder in the shade banana packaging you guys isn't she so gorgeous oh my god i love okay third three of these diamond shards in the shade my stage can't and actually this is a lip gloss but i have another one in here and then i have the lip gloss and gloss over gloss in the shade chocolate mousse we have the uh stage proof matte setting spray now the other um diamond shard i got was uh raise the curtain now the eyeshadow oh, no what is this oh this is the drama queen highlighting palette and i just wanted to show you guys like the freaking detail this is the drama queen highlighting palette and oh my god guys look at the freaking packaging it is so cute i mean it's like so cute and like girly and like very like cartoony i absolutely love this Ooh. okay so this is what she looks like on the inside of course i'm gonna lean more towards these shades than this shade but i feel like the quality in here is going to be really it's going to be really amazing and I can't wait to play with this the main item that caught my eye and I had to have it and I've been eyeing this ever since she came out with this palette um this is so freaking cute this is the eyeshadow palette from Kim Chi now they did collaborate with um kit kit nips um, so this palette is called Rainbow Shart. It's a um, eyeshadows and pressed pigments, limited edition featuring kit nips. Um, prep with concealer or a base, blah, blah, blah. So if I'm not mistaken, yes, so this brand is cruelty free, which I absolutely love. I am trying to go more cruelty free. Majority of my makeup is cruelty free. I just have a few things that are not. That's why I cannot 100% say I'm a, you know, I'm cruelty free um, makeup enthusiast. But I had to have this. Even though it is super girly, this is not something I would have leaned towards. To. I like more edgier things, especially when it comes to my makeup. But I just could not stop eyeing this palette. My freaking god, it's so cute. <gasps> Oh my God. So this is the volume one. So freaking cute. Oh, this is what she looks like on the inside. If you haven't seen what this palette is, I thought, I honestly thought this palette and the pan sizes were a lot smaller and I'm shocked that they're this big and I'm not mad at it at all. And mirror. Okay. So what I'm going to do, since we are doing a like full face, the first impressions on kimchi makeup, I'm going to start with the Puff Puff Pass. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour and apply my concealer. I'm going to fast forward that until we get to the first product. So now we're going to go ahead and try the Puff Puff Pass. 
I'm actually so, I'm so excited to try this. Oh my God, look, it's all wrapped. Oh my God, guys, look, it's a donut. And it's, oh my God. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to save this. So this is what she looks like. It's like a matte pink top. And she comes with like this puffer thingy. Banana too. Set your make, okay, so it says on the back, um, Kim Chi says, set your makeup with this gorgeous fine powder to ensure all day slayage, even when you cry. So, I have high expectations for this. Is there a scent? No. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and like, touch it. Oh, it is very, very silky. Okay. Bake the areas where I obviously put that concealer. So now that I have the powder on, we're going to go ahead and move on to the eyes. So I'm actually going to be using my P. Louise base. I take my Sephora 57 brush. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to this beautiful palette. What I'm going to do is pretty much stick to this side and I will swatch some of the shimmer shades because I have um these to apply on the lid so natural and i'm going to be taking my bh cosmetics brush in shade 10 and we're just going to go ahead and apply this uh in the crease oh wow this blends out really really well i like this I'm actually just going to take my Fenty bronzer and just put that in the crease because it's, the natural shade is just a little too pink for what I want for this look. So I'm just going to add ahead and move on to Toast, which is this like medium brown neutral shade. Smaller. So we're going to take this Morphe M514 brush. And there is some fallout in this palette, but I personally, it just doesn't bother me. Burgundy, and I'm going to take that same Morphe brush. And we're going to just place that right on the outer V. Now that I have somewhat of the eyes done, it is, like I said, r way more like rose toned than what I wanted. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch the diamond shards for you guys. These are what these look like. They're super glittery on camera. The first one right here that is coming off like more, um, rose gold coppery which is my shade and it has like silver glitter in it. These remind me of the Stila Magnificent Metals. And then we have this bronzy shade, which is my all time favorite in Cant. And this has gold and copper glitter in it. And then we have uh, Raise the Curtain, which is more of like your true warm gold. And of course this has, I feel like silver and gold glitter in it. So for this eye, I really wanted to go in with the bronzy one, but I feel like that might be, I don't know how I'm gonna like it with more of this pinky look. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this one. I know how these um, apply on the eye. So I'm just gonna take my P. Louise base a little bit here um, to see, I don't know how it sticks. with my stage. I hope that this is, this turns out so pretty. Oh my God. Went ahead and kind of finished the um, upper half of my eye shadow. And you guys, these layer beautifully now i will say let them dry a little bit don't layer them when they are 
a hint tacky. Um, for me, I accidentally just took it up a little too far. That's why I ended up putting burgundy more in my crease to kind of like blend it in together. And when you are trying to like fix your eyeshadow, you will get a little bit of glitter fallout. And then during that, I just want to powder because it was getting a little drying on my under eyes. Um, I do have a little bit of creasing right here, but on this side, I'm completely fine. So... I don't know if I just put too much right here and it could have been my fault, but overall I really like it. It didn't leave like a super uh, white cast on the uh, cleaning up my contour on the other, on, on the uh, under eyes. So that's something I really like because I was afraid that this was going to leave like a white cast on me. So A plus for that. Quickly swatch some of the shimmer shades real quick. Um, so we have... 24 karat blue ocean and grape and then oh and i'm i'm not even pressing that hard the blue one i feel like could be a little bit more pigmented like the gold i feel like it is a little sheer the pink is pretty though for me i feel like the blue and the pink are a little than the gold the gold is so beautiful. Oh my God. I'm actually just add another layer. Oh yeah. Okay. Maybe I just didn't press hard enough when swatching, but those are beautiful. Super creamy. These swatched like butter, like literal butter. Head and move on to highlighter. And this is, I'm so excited for this. <sighs> Spread like butter and maybe mix it with cinnamon glaze. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and see. Kinda with the eye highlighter palette because I was expecting this not that anyone said that it was but like a super intense highlighter and it is not like super blinding but it is very wearable if you don't like um like blinding glittery highlighters it did glide on the skin beautifully and it's actually blending into my bronzer really well sometimes with highlighters you can kind of get like a certain line on top of your bronzer and it just it's not a cute look um but this one doesn't do that at all Last thing we're gonna go ahead and try out is the setting spray now this is the stage proof setting spray and this is uh cruelty free uh vegan paraben free pegs free, phthalates free, sulfate free, and talc free. And there's like another word, fragrance free, synthetic fragrance Woo! free. Okay, so this is very like, to me, very 60s with the mint and the pink. Super cute, shake well before use. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh my God, and the cap is even pink. Oh my God, I love, hmm. I don't like the scent of it. Okay, so I feel like the spritzer could be a little bit more finer. This is the only one I have like on hand to compare it to. This is the Believe Beauty and you see how the mist is so fine and, and it spritzes out, but it's not like a, like in your face. This one I feel like could, could be better. Um, but, um, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a try. I don't like this, the scent of it. Um, so I want to quickly go over everything that we tested out today and the full face of testing kimchi makeup products. And I have to say, I love everything. That caught my eye to try out kimchi was obviously this eyeshadow palette here. The only thing is that I wish the more neutral browns picked up more brown on my eyes, but that could have just been two, two things. One, because I went in with more of a pinkier based uh, color, which is neutral, which I thought was more brown. 
or honestly it's just probably my skin tone something that just pulls more pink like cool tone than uh than what these shades pull on say someone else's skin tone which might pull more neutral um i love this i can't wait to test out like these shimmer shades right here and do like a fun crazy look um the packaging on all of the kimchi products is so beautiful i love just like the thought and like the cartoon like comic book um thing that he had on here and i can't wait for a volume two because this is volume one and if i'm not mistaken this is a limited edition so if you can get your hands on this girl get your hands on this we have is the drama queen highlighter palette now this isn't something that is super intense blinding on the cheeks if that is something that you prefer in a highlighter you like to have that super intense highlight this is something i probably would pass on it is definitely more of a tone down highlighter than like say something from like jeffree star or um even like oh, i can't remember or like a makeup revolution highlighter or like a wet and wild highlighter i feel like those are a little bit more intense than the kimchi but it is so beautiful when you have bronzers it just leaves like that ugly line on top of your face and that's just not cute because it just did not settle in with your uh, skin products so this i do like but it's not as as intense as i would like it but if you don't like that super intense highlighter but you do want your highlighter to show and to pop this is it girl puff puff pass powder i like this I think for me, I just probably too much to my under eyes. I probably would just do go in with a little bit of product, maybe even try like a pointed tipped, a uh, pointed pointed tipped brush to place a powder on your face because it is going into like the creasing on like my under eyes and I kind of look a little dry around like my nose area but honestly that probably was my fault I do really like this color and I like the fact that it didn't leave like that super white annoying white cast underneath my eyes or cleaning up my bronzer or my chin or anywhere else where I had put this powder it is super thin and not thin but it is very silky and normally silkier powders i don't like because they come across more of like an hd powder which i'm not about that life so i do really like this i'm so excited i got my hands on this because i found a new loose powder so cute girls go now for me the my favorite and i am going to be ordering more are the uh diamond shards I love these. The diamond shards, they are $10 each, which is not a bad price at all. I really like the Stila Magnificent Glow uh, glitter, like liquid glitter thingies, but they're just so expensive for what they are in my opinion. Um, I probably would have paid that a couple of years ago, but now girl, I do not. I save them coins and I try to find reasonable, products to purchase for my collection so these are bomb i have the uh, uh my sage on my eyes it layered beautifully on the eyelids and it is so glittery and so intense and that's something i really like if i'm going to wear a glitter girl i want the glitter to pop i don't want it to just sit there or just not sparkle nothing no these sparkle and i love that i will be ordering more of these and i'm super like i really want to try this bronzy one in a can it does have other colors like i think there's like a pink and a blue and i just i don't know why people don't rave about these i just don't understand that at all kind of like on the fence of because i don't i have to really test this out all day to see like how well it does perform. I don't like the scent of this. This does smell like alcohol. Like when I say alcohol, like an alcohol beverage in my opinion. And I don't like the spritzer on this, but when I had like those, the cakiness on my uh, lips were from the powder, it blended uh, into the skin beautifully. It just, 
like I can't even explain this. This is literally magic in a bottle. I just wish he would have added like a scent or something to this. Say matte, it, it's not like a glue on the face or hairspray on the face, which is nice. It's very comfortable um, on this skin. So I will be testing this out some more, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you like videos like this. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.